<clears throat> What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into So Real Tea. Uh, resonate down with her exes. Race away with surprise. Right, let's so Real Gang, how are we doing today? Let's get into Ray So Wavy. You guys all know Ray and Talia have been friends for a while now. Well, guys, they did decide to pursue a more passionate relationship. Well, guys, they're still going strong. And Ray just went out to Dallas to spend some quality time with her boo. And she even surprised her with some flowers and Dior. The flowers stated, if you adore her, then mm. Dior her. Damn, yeah. man. You feel me? Your girl race away. You got a date. No cap. But nah, y'all. Today, man, I'm going to be traveling to Dallas to see to live. I told y'all I'm going to try to give y'all more little vlogs, more little content, solo, dolo content. So me and Talia haven't seen each other, y'all, in like probably like a month or so. She didn't have to get some stuff together for her business. So you know me, man. I'm all for it. I always tell people, like, do what you got to do. Make sure you got your stuff in order. I don't like to be no distraction to nobody or anything or a burden. You know what I mean, y'all? Even though I know I'm not, but still, like, when it comes to people priorities, y'all, I already know how that shit is because I'm structured and I'm grounded myself. So I just gave her the little space to do what she got to do, you feel me? And now today, y'all, man, I'm actually going to be going to Dallas to meet up with her. Um Yeah. Yeah, this is this is kind of new for me because y'all know I don't really speak on what I got going on for real or like you know just talk on what I even got going on for real. So it's like y'all just gonna come with me today, coming to Dallas to see my little boot thing, no cap. I'm getting ready right now, y'all. I got a couple of errands to run before I go. In all reality, y'all, I should have been like got all this stuff together. Like it's pushing three o'clock and I still gotta get on the road. So I'm trying to hear up and get finish getting ready right now, y'all. But. You know what I mean, man? Y'all just gonna have to come with me on this little, this little chill vlog. I thought this shirt was a little smaller than this. I'm not gonna die. Yeah, I'm not gonna die, yeah. guys. But y'all finna come with me on this journey today. I got a couple of surprises for her too, so That's I'm gonna take y'all with me. I gotta go pick her up some little gifts and stuff, man, cause Talia actually accomplished something hella big, y'all, recently. So you feel me? I gotta, you gonna come through every time a nigga call you. That's how I ball when I ball when I spoil ya. But now I gotta, you feel me? I gotta, I gotta spoil on my mind. No cap. So yeah, y'all finna come with me though, man. And hopefully y'all enjoy this vlog. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know y'all don't like the little love of little content, but today y'all get that shit because I gotta go see my cat. No cap. So let's get into it. And you know, uh, but yeah, though y'all, I'm probably, and this is another thing. You feel me? P yeah, that's the whole goddamn. Right Let's just see. Okay. Test mark. Girl, this snap. Like, talk to your girl real nice. No. Okay. Ladoo, who told you getting? Oh, you got her some skin. Girl, this snap. But a big ass, a lot of roses. Like, talk scam. to your girl real nice. Some Dior. It looked like the Dior, the roses wrapped in the what? Hey, no. Ladoo, who told you getting the front seat? He really trying to see the roses. But y'all feel me? We got the Dior, the scams. We got the other Dior gift, you know what I'm saying? We got the roses, you know, with the Dior. Y'all know I had to. Yeah, that's fine. If he can't buy you Dior, then he Dior. Nah, I adore her, so I Dior her, no cap, y'all. So, you feel me? Oh, shit. Yeah, we good, though. This look good. This look good. Go yard, you can have to get in the back, baby boy. All right, y'all. So, now I'm about to run to my... You guys comment down below. That was go yard the whole time. And let us know what you think. I'm Let's... thinking she got a dog. All right get into Carmen. Yeah. Guys, you know, Carmen has been on her grind. She been dropping back to back. She done cleared Corey ass and his girl Maddie off of the internet. Carmen's Literally. lawyer not only Literally. sent Corey a cease and desist, they also stated that they sent Maddie a cease and desist as well. And Maddie took to Instagram and she reposted <laughs> something that stated, the best way to end something is to starve it. No reaction. Just don't feed it. The comments added, ignoring or not engaging with negativity can often make it lose its power. Common knowledge, one out of fire, deprive it of oxygen. I'm not sure why Corey and Maddie believe that Carmen is speaking on them when they have been speaking on her this whole time. But the moment that she responds, now they're trying to make it seem like Carmen just won't give it up and she just keeps speaking. Like she just doing the most. Speaking on them for no reason because she's Crazy. sticking up for her. Herself. Maddie did nah, 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 in the chat. go live and let it be known that she's just been busy. She's living her best life with her man. They're at peace and things like that. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think. She posted that right after the cease and desist was announced. It don't even matter because that didn't stop Carmen. Carmen's still living her best life. She just posted a video and stated that she's looking for her dream home for her and her children. 
period. Now, that's how you do it. Someone in the comments section stated, yes, Carmen, this is how you bounce back. Wishing you and your kids nothing but love, happiness, health, and strength. You guys go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you think about everything that has been going on. Do you guys like any of the houses that Carmen looked at? Nine, 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 nine. So we're about to die. Uh, I like the second one for sure. I reacted to this on my Patreon. Y'all go tap in. And, and come with me right now because she's waiting for me. Model fat. He's of safe space with Nay where she just gets a little deep. She dropped a new series of safe space with Nay where she just gets a little deeper with the girls and the guys. Them asking her questions about her business and her getting some tea on their business as well. She said you guys need to give her some more tea and less and less in her business. But she did talk a little bit about her situations and how she handled things. She did state because she loves so hard that once she decides that she's done with something, she's officially done with it and there's no going back to it you guys comment down below and let us know what you think how do you deal with dating and having everyone stalking you and your partners every move does that affect your relationships hell yeah it affect my relationships you see i'm single now with y'all last night <laughs> honestly it's whatever i mean honestly i really just have to start learning how to keep my stuff a little bit more private stop going out everywhere with everybody so it don't have to be seen because it's like nowadays i can't date i can't just have somebody that i'm just vibing with it gotta be my man like they gotta just be there like i can't have no chocolate sprees <laughs> i think he was mad as hell after that statement but um this is safe space with nate though y'all i want y'all to start like really telling me it's like everybody's always asking me like about like exes and stuff and it is so crazy because i don't know what it is <laughs> with y'all but when i let me tell y'all something about me and I'm gonna just leave this here. This is like probably like the only time last time I'm gonna address this. I'm gonna say this here. I'm not perfect. And I am crazy. Yes, I am. But I love hard and everyone who's who I have loved. I've never had any ill intentions, never had any bad you know, feelings on them, never just like wish them bad, nothing like that. I wish everybody who I've dated all good. I wish them the best. That's what that. But one thing about Lil Man, when she tossed you in that trash, you stay there. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Damn. Well. <laughs> He's talking about me. He's talking about something I never wish about bad. But I ain't even saying like bad trash. Like, it's just something I don't use anymore. You know, when you don't use anything anymore, you dispose of it. Throw it. But it's like something that's like, it's no need for me. So, no, I am not going back to no ex. I definitely feel like I can always be friends, be have to be cordial and everything. It's no no bad blood with no exes I on my end. None of them. But stop asking me, am I gonna take any of these exes back, baby? Are y'all? It's just just because you still messing with your baby daddy and don't wanna take your ass back. Don't mean y'all gotta put that on me. I don't want none of those exes. I don't want them. I wish them the best. Like, I feel like I love, when I tell you I love you, when I tell you, when I fuck with you, I fuck with you forever. And now, how I fuck with you is, that's just different. But I'm gonna fuck with you forever. Like, if I love you, I love you. But, like, relax. Let me see, what else? Um, well, <sighs> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Because, girl, I am done with this video. Love y'all, appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.